But you guys got another video here for you. Windows 10 update breaks your PC. So Microsoft released their first Windows 10 and Windows 11 patch Tuesday updates for 2024. Last week with the January updates, KB503, 4122 and KB503, 4123 respectively. These updates are meant to address security issues within Windows. And as you can see, it dishes out a fatal error, error, install, failure. And you can see 0x800-70643 is the error number, which you can see on the screen. Now, users have reported that the update is failing to install with the error code you see on the screen, which indicates insufficient WinRE partition size, according to Microsoft. And this is a major problem for Microsoft. Now, the update was to fix a security flaw, which Microsoft said that it was to do with the BitLocker security feature bypass vulnerability. So Microsoft have said that the security flaw uh, could allow attackers to bypass BitLocker's encryption if they are able to get physical access to the unpatched PC. Now, the patch that Windows 11 users received was to fix Wi-Fi issues that led to networks not connecting or Wi-Fi icons not showing up on the computer. But for Windows 10, it was a major issue where obviously it was to do with BitLocker and allow people to access your PC if your PC was then unpatched. But of course, with this major problem, Microsoft have had to come up with a quick solution to fix the issue, which was causing a major install failure on a Windows Patch Tuesday update. And you have to ask yourself the question, how do these uh, major update failures keep happening at Microsoft? This is on Windows 10 and it's on Windows 11. We've had major problems as well. And they're talking about releasing a new operating system and haven't even sorted out Windows 10 or Windows 11. These problems are not going away. These are continuously happening on both operating systems whenever there's a, an update from Microsoft for Windows 10 and Windows 11. I think I can say for everyone, most people just want a stable operating system. Maybe just don't push out so many updates and try and concentrate on having a stable operating system rather than pushing out pointless new features that no one's interested in. And nine times out of 10, most of these updates are breaking the operating system or causing people major issues with their operating system. So this is just one of the uh, problems that we're facing today. So Microsoft, in their infinite wisdom, have come up with a workaround for you to fix their complete negligence with this failed Windows update. And you can see here, this Windows update applies a safe OS dynamic update, and it will give you the KB5034232, the Windows Recovery Environment WinRE, on a running PC to address the security vulnerability that could allow uh, attackers to bypass the BitLocker encryption using the WinRE. And you can see the number there, the CVE number. This update requires 250 megabytes of free space in the recovery partition to install successfully. The recovery partition does not have significant free space and this update will fail. In this case, you will receive the following error message, which I've shown you already. To avoid this error or recover from this failure, please follow these instructions to manually resize the partition to install WinPE updates. So not only are Microsoft incapable of sending you a update that actually works, they now want you to manually go in and resize your partition table, which is very dangerous and you shouldn't be doing this particular type of stuff. Manually resizing your partition table can cause major problems and make your system unbootable. And making people or telling people to manually resize your partition table to install a failed update which they delivered to you is unacceptable. You can see here they want you to go in and resize your partition by 250 megabytes and they will give you full-blown instructions on how to do it on their website. Unfortunately, for the average person, they are not going to be able to go in and do this particular workaround because it's far too complex for them, and they're expecting people to go in in command prompt and start resizing their partition table. 
I mean, what moron at Microsoft have come up with this particular workaround? I just don't understand their thought process on fixing a failed update from themselves and getting you to fix the problem. It's just unbelievable. And this can go terribly wrong for a lot of people. And if you are one of those people, it can actually brick your system and you may need to have to reinstall the system if you mess it up. Now, looking at Windows 10 latest known issues, there is all of the listings of known issues for Windows 10 and Windows 11 on Microsoft's website. Like I've told you many, many times before, stop rolling out updates immediately as soon as they come. You should be pausing updates for a few weeks before rolling them out, because if you do follow this uh, bit of advice, you are not going to have these problems. If you start going willy nilly and updating uh, Windows updates straight away as soon as they're released, you're going to fall into major problems like this. Now, I understand the urgency of patching your system uh, to patch vulnerabilities, but these problems have been there for a while, and you've probably been using your computer with this vulnerability without you knowing. So, Microsoft have then released an update to fix the vulnerability which is the common practice from Microsoft. But these vulnerabilities are within every operating system. There is always flaws in the operating system and security firms will find these and then inform Microsoft and they will then release a patch to fix these vulnerabilities. And this has always been the case. So there's no real need of urgency to update your operating system immediately because if you do this, what's going to happen is you're going to end up patching your system with a patch that hasn't been tested by Microsoft and you're using you as guinea pigs to roll this update out and then go back and tell them with all the problems that you're finding and they just list them on their site. So this will be a major inconvenience for you because if this happens to you and you then have to go through and start opening up command prompts and running a bunch of commands in disk part, this can go terribly wrong and end up you breaking your operating system and having to reinstall and possibly lose data. Microsoft don't care because they're not responsible for your data. Now, Microsoft are working on a resolution uh, which will provide an update in the up and coming releases. And this could take months. So what are you supposed to do? Jump in and fix uh, the partition table yourself. I wouldn't advise you to do that. I'd advise you just to pause that update if it still pops up on your screen and just all block it and hide it, which I've made videos showing you how to do. Anyway, let me know in a comment section below what you think of this issue and whether you've carried out this procedure to fix this problem and allow you to download and update your version of Windows. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. And I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on my Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.